Hello developers, in this video tutorial I am going to teach you JavaScript fetch API example using random user generator API. As you can see that I have already published an article about this topic on my blog codingpicture.com. I have also given this article link on the video description. I have already said that I am going to use a random user generator API. So I open that in the new tab. You can see that this is the website where we will get the API. Okay, for code editing let me open the Visual Studio code first. I open the Visual Studio code. Uh, let me open the project folder. I created a project folder called JavaScript. There are no files inside this folder. I just opened the empty folder. Okay. Now let me create a new file. Actually, you need uh, two files for this. The first one is index.html and the second one is script.js. So let me copy and paste the HTML code. And the save the file as index.html. Okay. Let me create the new file again. For that, uh, I com I'm copying the JavaScript code. Then I pasted it in the, pasted it in uh, the new uh, file, and I saved the file as script.js. Now let me explain the code. Uh, inside the HTML, as you can see that uh, head section, uh, title, then link, uh, we I included the bootstrap. Inside the body section, there is a div with the glass container. Then there is a div with uh, the style background color blue, then classic called Jabotron. So H1 tag, random user generator application. After that, there is a div tag with the class ra uh, radio. Inside that label input type radio, uh, value equal to male, name equal to gender, checked, defaultly checked, then it, uh, then label name is male, okay. Then div class radio, uh, same for uh, female, right. After that, the same uh, radio um, for gender, right. For all, then uh, there is a div tag with the form group class, uh, inside that uh, label uh, for SEL select one, select nationality. Inside that, uh, I define the select uh, with the class form control and the ID nationality and there are uh, countries, okay. Finally, div ID equal to result div, okay. It is an empty uh, div tag. On the end of the body section, I included the jQuery bootstrap and the script.js files. That's it, okay. Now, let me show the random user generator API first, how to use. Actually, uh, using the Ajax, we will use this uh, URL, random user dot me slash API. For this is the API URL. It returns the data type as JSON. So we are defining the data type as JSON. On success function, we are printing the data in console.log. Okay. So the JSON will be like this, like this. That's it. It is a simple uh, JavaScript uh, API, fetch API example. So let me show how it is works in uh, JavaScript. Um, on ready document ready function we are defining a url with the url uh, random user dot me slash api we are only want to show the 10 results so we are using this uh, question mark results equal to 10 then we define the empty variable p then variable radio value then selected nationality and load more finally we are calling a function fetch information url okay Input if uh, in the JavaScript, the input type is radio means, radio on click means, uh, radio value, uh, we, are, we are getting the value which one is uh, checked, then uh, we are getting the nationality. If the results are empty, then uh, we are using the URL here. Uh, so we append the radio value plus nationality plus selected nationality, okay. If radio value uh, is there means we are calling the function. At same like uh, here nationality on change function if on change uh, if we change the value to uh, any other nationality then we are using uh, these codes to get the uh, json data right finally we are calling the fetch information url uh, fetch information function only inside the function fetch information url we are uh, using the random user uh, api code as you can see here we are using this code but instead of console.log data you can see here the same code, 
but instead of uh, console dot log data we are using uh, this data dot results dot for each for each we are getting the json data okay and we are storing the values in the specified classes finally uh, we uh, using the load more to load more results we are using the append uh, method to append the results on load more on click uh, we are calling the fetch information url again so it will remove the previous results and it will uh, display the new results okay so let me run this project click run run without debugging i am using chrome it will open please wait as you can see that it is open it but uh, not uh, with the help of run command i open the index.html uh, file directly in the uh, chrome as you can see that it is showing the jumbotron random user generator application uh, for example it loaded 10 results when i click load milk it will load another 10 results okay it is working fine when i change the nationality to de you can see that it is uh, returned the different cells when i click female it will only results the female cells if i choose all it will return on all results if i choose male it will return only male results right so it is working very perfectly that's it guys uh, so we have uh, successfully implemented the javascript fetch api using the ja random generator api if you have any doubts about this video tutorial then please leave a comment i will help you if you want to uh, learn more about javascript fetch api example then uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel